okay, after like 20 or 30 minutes of walking, I finally made it to my Airbnb in Colmar. And it's right in the heart of Colmar, which is very beautiful old town, very colorful too, which I love. Um, and the Airbnb is very interesting. I think it's like a family's house. So each room is like on different floors, like even the bathroom. So it's kind of interesting. I just took a little nap because I was kind of tired from traveling today. But now I'm gonna go to dinner at, um, I think it's called Wistabrenner. No, Wistabrenner. So let's go! by far one of the best dishes I've ever had. The vegetables and the fish were so fresh, it feels like the fish was just caught that day. And the produce is definitely organic and feels like I'm eating a home cooked meal too. Second day in. Oh, wait, so. It is the third day being in Europe. First um, morning being in France in Colmar. And I woke up pretty early, so I am going to go to a boulangerie, which is a bakery, get some fresh croissant or some other sort of pastry and some coffee and start the day. So let's go on an adventure and find some good pastries. Okay, gonna eat this croissant. It's uh, not a regular croissant. It's a uh, nature. Is it croissant nature? I don't know what that was, but I wanted to try it out. Mmm. It's very flaky and soft. Um, 
I think the difference between this and the the Hosan Ba is uh, no butter, but it tastes it tastes pretty good. The cafe was really nice. A lot of locals waiting for it to open, so that was cool. They didn't have coffee, so I'm gonna probably go back out to get some coffee because. I'm definitely gonna need it for today as I go travel to Paris. Okay, low key, it tastes kind of like a crescent roll, <laughs> like the Pillsbury one. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I think I should just get the regular croissant though. Okay, I just finished having my croissant and my espresso. So I just got ready and I'm going to go to the city center, walk around and explore. And then I have a reservation for a little boat tour and I think it might just be me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm excited to go on the little river that they have and then have some lunch and then head to Paris. It was awesome seeing a little hidden gem of a cute Japanese like anime store in Colmar. Not ever with the vacation. And so nobody wanted to be an executioner. So you were executioner from father to son. And when you are born a daughter, you have to marry the son of the executioner of the neighboring town. This is a job that the state is having. <laughs>
if you go to Colmar, you have to go on the boat tour. It's only about 7 euros and you get to see the beautiful views and learn history about Colmar that you would have never found on the internet. They gave me a chocolate banana cookie and it's really good and the store smells wonderful. I visited Musée Hansi in Colmar. So Hansi was a caricaturist in the late 1800s and also the mid 1900s as well. He passed away in 1951, but while he was still alive, he was very known for his art and his protests against German occupation in the Alsace region. Okay, I thought there was kids in here, but they're playing like little kid um, laughing sounds and it's really creepy. Okay, it's like really creepy in here. Besides the creepy music and laughing and the creepy little children in the museum, it's a pretty cool place to see Hansi's art and the impact that he's made in France, especially in the Alsace region. The interior of the place is really cool. It's on the upstairs floor and downstairs is the store which you should definitely check out for sure and it's free to enter the store.
For lunch, I went to Le Feu Rouge and it's in a building that's been around since the 1400s. They have a large variety of different foods to choose from. I chose the steak with the potatoes and vegetables. It sounded really yummy. And I also opted in for a glass of Riesling, one of my favorite wines and it is local to the Alsace region so I had to try it out because it must be fresh potatoes were so soft and buttery and I love that they saute vegetables in butter it's so delicious the steak was also perfect especially with the jus sauce and I did like the touch from the orange so definitely got to try out the steak here it was so yummy the food here is really good. I really like the steak and the sauce pairs very well with it. And the potatoes are delicious. I decided to hop on to the Petit Train, which is the green train that goes all around Colmar. You get to wear headphones that tell you about the history of each landmark and all about the city as well. It's definitely worth it and only 7 euros. You get to sit and relax and look at the beautiful scenery. Colmar is definitely one of the most beautiful places that I've been to and one of my favorite destinations that I've visited in my Europe trip. I definitely recommend it if you have the time to go. It's only about an hour or two away from Paris by train. And with this, I leave the beautiful medieval town of Colmar and head to the busy modern city of Paris. Colmar has such a rich, beautiful history, so don't miss out if you have the chance to go to Colmar. Coming from the small, quaint town of Colmar into the busy life of Paris, I'm so excited to re-explore the different places that I've never been to, try out many different foods, explore landmarks, and have a wonderful time learning about the culture and history of Paris. I can't wait to see you guys soon in the next vlog. Bye!